It's a house that's full of history, and that's only part of the story. A 200-year-old home on Pocahontas Island in Petersburg has belonged to the same family now for about a century. In tonight's Wayne's World, what the steps are being taken to preserve it. It's very exciting. It's been such a long time coming. 200 years after these bricks were first laid. They did do a good job. The Jared House on Pocahontas Island. Yes, yeah, so this is a huge step. Is getting some much needed attention and love. A half of the back wall had collapsed some years ago. Fixing it and putting it back the right way, as well as getting to use some of those bricks that were laid in the first place yeah. by somebody 200 years ago. There's, I mean, it's a cool feeling. The delicate stabilization work, hopefully we're not just fixing, but improving. In the hands of Virginia Masonry Restoration. We are a uh, masonry company that specializes in historic restoration, preservation. And Warren Davies wanted his company to do this job. I wanted to be involved in this job for several reasons. First of all, I love something that is complicated. Um, this is not an easy job. Built circa 1820. Had to be one of the nicest houses down here. The Jared House sits on Pocahontas Island in Petersburg. Pocahontas is one of the oldest and largest free African American communities even before the Civil War. And this house is a great tie-in point to that. And who owned the house is just as important as its location. It was owned by African Americans throughout the years and they would rent it out for boarding houses or live in it. It was also owned by a woman who was listed as mulatto and had African-American and Pamunkey Indian tribe uh, descent. But years of neglect and rainwater seeping in caused lots of damage. Currently, stabilization is being worked on and that's the biggest first step to keep the house from falling down on its own. Grand money being used to pay to shore up the building. But the Masons here say it wouldn't still be standing. It allowed it to still be here. If not for the skill of the bricklayers 200 years ago. This is a house that's gonna be here in 200 years. And it's gonna have some right, you know, some ups and downs along the way, but because of the way it's put together like this, this is why it'll last. Overall, this is some impressive brickwork that was here before. Kate San Gregorio, the city's preservation planner, is working to find more grant money to continue with the process to once again make the Jarrett House viable. The brickwork being done is expected to last through December, but it may be years before enough grant money is found to fully restore the historic Jarrett House. But the work being done by the Masons today, like those Masons did 200 years ago, will help guarantee the Jarrett House continues to stand. That's a look inside Wayne's World. I'm Wayne Koval, CBS 6 News.